Hello, in this video we will discuss about the snake venom and the bite of the snake physiology we will understand and what is the changes of the physiological aspect we will discuss in this video. So please make sure to watch the whole video for understanding the snake venom or bite. So first of all the introduction is the snake venom is used for prey to kill the prey, uh, prey and digest and highly contain enzyme for breaking or digesting the cells of the prey uh, quick killing to prey by dis disrupt their body physiology so remember the snake itself uh, the po the snake uh, saliva basically itself is not a poisonous because it contain a uh, antibodies against their own saliva so it means the snake bite to s snake to snake bite will not affect so here you can see the labial parotid gland modification to poison gland formation due to the evolutionary process and the secretion uh, will become a modified saliva which contain uh, protein enzyme toxin as metal ions so protein so metal ions so conjugated protein and chemical breakdown of cells of the prey so remember our our saliva also contain amylase for breakdown of amylose so that is why the same mechanism because saliva amylase contain protein also so this is the venom which that after the biting in the feet of the person so the venom can be <laughs> move into the blood circulatory system but where the region of the bite drastically increase the area of the inf uh, venom so if the non lethal toxin it can be uh, it, it can be recovered due to the uh, allergic reaction so in this way here is the dendritic cell we recognize this venom to engulf endocytosis to formation of the msc class 1 molecule so we are understanding about the immunology the response of the immunology immune system so the dendritic cell produce the cytokine as well as move toward the uh, lymph lymph node and this is the lymphatic system after this msc class 1 molecule we recognize the antigen to the naive t cell this naive t cell is basically the co-stimulatory molecule which stimulate and in this way the naive t cell will uh, trigger the b cell so the naive b cell by the cd4 after the proliferation of the t helper cell for example which that's contain msc class 1 molecule which that trigger the b cell to proliferation to form a plasma cell and b memory cell so these are two types of cells plasma cell and b memory cell plasma cell produce a lot of ige antibodies for the allergic reaction to enhance so in this way fc portion of the antibody immunoglobulin will bind with the mast cell which that are present in the tissue and after this to become a receptor site formation which that is the venom will bind with the uh, light chain of the immunoglobulin as a receptor to release the histamine and when release the histamine histamine used for the contraction of the blood vessel will lead to hypersensitivity and in this way increase the blood circulation so after this if the, the snake part is too much uh, poisonous so the blood pressure become low while on the other hand the uh, you can understand anti venom is also used for the antibody which that is against the venom so in this way let's begin to understand here is the not toxic venom can be neutralized due to immune system if our uh, immune cell free so if the immune system will be collapsed by the poisonous cytotoxic poisonous cytotoxic venom in this way the immune cell will not work and that is why the poison can kill the whole body the necrosis of all cell so let's begin to understand the size of snake and the toxicity of the venom so when decrease the si size it it will increase the venom potential to death so that is why 
बिकॉज द बिग रिक्वायर लेस बिकॉज ईजी टू प्रिडेशन वाइल द स्मॉल स्नैक रिक्वायर्ड मोर डिफिकल्ट सो इट मीन द वैनम विल वर्क एंड हेल्प सो ऑन दी अदर हैंड हेयर इज द टाइप ऑफ वैनम विच दैट इज लेट्स बिगिन टू अंडरस्टैंड द साइटोटॉक्सिक विच दैट डाइजस्ट पार्शली और कंप्लीटली लीड टू नेक्रोसिस ऑफ द ऑल सेल्स थ्रू आउट द बॉडी and the body fail to function the normal physiology will lead to death while the neurotoxic is here which that is parasympath a pre synaptic neuron and post synaptic neuron synapse will be disrupted due to the inhibition of the neurotransmitter receptor will lead to paralysis and hemotoxic mean the red blood cell will burst due to the hemolysis and coagulation and in this way this is the type of cytotoxic but hemotoxic and in this way the thrombosis formation due to the clotting will be a uh, clotting factor increase and here you can see this is the thrombosis formation will lead to stroke and the rupture of the blood vessel will lead to hemorrhage also so that is uh, simple to understand so let's begin to understand the cardio toxic the cardio toxic is same the cyto toxic but it will target to the heart for the digestion of the heart cell so that will lead to heart failure heart attack and the stroke or uh, and other heart disease uh, at the same time will lead to cause death and your last big let's let's begin to understand the fear after snake bite so the snake bite will not work quickly uh, as long as you will fear so when you will fear more so the uh, so the chances of the death will more due to the increase of the sympathetic nervous system stimulation sound to death by other person will say you will die so it means you will fear in this way the sympathetic nervous system will be activated the sympathetic nerve fiber and in this way will stimulate the adrenal medulla and adrenal cortex release the cortisol and the catecholamine catecholamine this catecholamine uh, release from the adrenal medulla and the catecholamine is the uh, uh, basically the nitric oxide or other uh, factors which that and major epinephrine and norepinephrine so the epinephrine will bind will lead to glucose move into the cell due to the high energy requirement so hypoglycemia will occur will lead to low blood pressure but in this case the vasodilation will be inhibit while the vasoconstriction activation due to the binding with the epinephrine receptor of the blood vessel the endothelial cell and the smooth muscle cell of the uh, tunica media so this is the heart beat will be increased due to the constriction per minute will lead to attack and tachycardia so in this way when lead to increase the heart beat will it means the uh, here you can see this is the uh, this is the spreading of the venom throughout the body will increase when increase the venom it means the rapidly death so the rapidly we are going to death if we will fear more while on the other hand the vasodilation will occur due to the norepinephrine bind with the digestive system will lead to stop digestion even vomiting so the management can be the lay down don't fear don't listen uh, to death uh, from the other person stay cool calm fear uh, uh, is not good and the early go to hospital and get treatment easily get vaccine to prevent that process and in this way i hope you make sense about the snake venom and the bite so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share and if you like this video so you can give the suggestion for making more videos and i am making the hand written tutorial which that is related to the art work so thanks for watching bye